All right, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your own light leak. And I've seen a lot of videos on how to use a light leak and just basically use it in the edit page, but not really on how to make it yourself. So that's why I'm doing this real quick. All right, so I have my clip here. It's just one second and then it transitioned to the next one. And right where that cut is, I'm just gonna see where that is. And then I'm gonna add a, an adjustment clip. So go up to your effects library, down to toolbox, up to effects, then adjustment clip. I'm gonna put that over here. Mine is one second long. So I'm just gonna do it like that. And I'm just gonna wanna put it like right in the middle, about there is fine. And yeah, we're just open that up in the fusion page hit this button right here and then we're going to find the cut so it's right here and then we're going to add a bunch of our nodes so first note we're going to add is a fast noise you can find it up here at the far left fast noise bring that down i'm also going to add a background node so i'm going to add that over here i'm going to connect the fast noise to the background node like this and then i'm going to go to the fast noise and view it in our viewer by hitting two so it pops up over here then you're going to start with this over here i'm just going to change my settings and we don't want a noise pattern that's too detailed because this is going to be with the texture for our noise so we don't want too detailed but we want the contrast up and we want these globs like this and we kind of want to put down to like around the scale of one and then maybe the brightness down just a tad bit and then i'm going to go to color and then i'm going to go to gradient it's a gradient between these two colors and i'm going to change this black color i'm going to put the alpha all the way up so it's just like this and maybe i'm just going to pull this over a little bit to get less or more space over here the way that we want it and that's fine and then i'm going to go our fast noise go back to the noise panel and then we're going to keyframe the seed so we have our noise moving so i'm just going to up this up click this little side over here with the seed rate so we have our moving lightly over here i'm also going to go to our color and then go to the offset so the offset allows us to expand or subtract whatever noise pattern is here and because of, based on our gradient so we put it like this and then go up and down like that so we're going to keyframe this basically over that point so we want it to be in the middle you want it to be full so let's go all the way down to here and then keyframe over here and then let's go to the beginning of our comp and let's bring it back all the way till it doesn't appear it doesn't appear like that and then go to the end put the same value i think it was like 1.7 and like that that works and now we have something like this Maybe we want to put the seed rate a little faster so we have something like that. And we could also move around the seed and get a pattern that we want. Maybe something like that. And that'll work. Let's go to our fast noise panel over here and then we can see our graph. I'm just going to make it so our graph looks like this instead. If you don't know how to smooth out these graphs, we're going to hit Control A and then hit S and it goes like this. And then we're going to pull this handle by holding down Alt to the middle like that and like that as well. And I can decrease this so it's a really fast like flash. We don't want it to be around too long. And I don't like how it just does that. So let's find the seed or it maybe comes from the side. Yeah, something like there. Yeah, that should work. And then just mess around with the seed until you get one you like. Maybe something like that. Even change the scale if you would like. But I think this, this will work for what we need. Let's add a merge node to the video one in one. So we can hit this button over here on our toolbox over here. And then let's connect the background to the merge one like this. And let's view the merge like that. Hit hitting two. You can see what we have over here. Right now it's black because we're being we're masking this out with a mask for our background. But we want this to be, say, whatever color we want. So I'm just going to use orange because I'll use in the example and go like this and then make it our orange color maybe something around there will work but right now it's too solid we don't want this to be 100 solid so we can either go to our fast noise and make this map a little lower so we can just bring down the alpha on this map like that or we can go over here to the background and then lower our orange like this and so the maximum goes like that and there we have our little light leak like this but right now it's a little too clear so what i'm going to add is a brightness and contrast hit the background node and then hit the brightness and contrast node over there and then i'm going to up the gain like that and that's going to give us our nice really bright effect like that and we can also hit pre-divide post multiply it doesn't affect the bottom of the image or we can just keep it like that but yeah for the most part that is it you can even go above five to get more of a solid like that and then all last thing if you want to change the color you can either change it with the background or like using a color character node from there and then you could just change the hue however you want so with that and then it kind of gives you a little bit more values as well but it kind of makes it a little too solid so you don't want to go too far or you want to put your brightness contrast and put the gain down a little bit more like that but yeah that is basically how you do that effect